Question of the day, what is your go-to worker placement game? I mean, right, after all the years of mass market games, we kind of had our intro to area control through risk, right? We had our intro to kind of deduction games through clue. We had our intro to economic games, roll and moves, roll and write sort of uh, through Monopoly. But what was that game that was your introduction uh, worker placement game, right? Um, what was yours? And then also, what do you use for others as a gateway game? Let me know in the comments below for worker placement games, what you use for a gateway. And also, if you can think of a mass market game that I'm missing that was worker placement, uh, please let me know. I'd, I'd love to know just kind of in the comments below what the closest analogy or analog would be because today we're looking at a, a game that could possibly become a new gateway worker placement game. Now, don't hear that and think just instantly, well, it's too light for me because typically we think that when we hear gateway games. But let's take a look today at, um, I don't even have the box. And what am I? I'm so unprepared. But uh, we're looking at Little Towns. It's Little from Yellow Games. We're going to take a look at this, see how it plays, what it does, all the sorts of things like that right now. So this is Little Town set up for a two-player game. The difference is you're going to get more gold cards. You're also going to get more workers to use each round as well as more houses to own buildings with. Essentially what you're going to do on your turn, you're going to take one of your workers and do one of two things. You're either going to build a building by going to the slot and paying the cost on these building tiles. Now there are more building tiles that are not out here this time, but these are what's going to be populated for the game. Cost in the top left is what it takes to build it. This is how many victory points it's worth at the end of the game. And this is what the building does. Some of them just give you a straight production, like this just gives you three bonus or three victory points. Uh, this one allows you to trade all four of these items in for seven points each time the building is activated. So you can either build a building or you can place your worker out there on a space and anything adjacent to it, that would be orthogonal or diagonal, you get to take that resource. Water gives you fish, which you're going to need fish and wheat to feed your workers at the end of the round. So if you go here, this space and this space would give you two fish. Now, the whole goal is to strategically put your workers out where you surround or touch the most things. So this would give me three wood if I went there, setting me up to further build a building later. Now, here's the cool thing. Let's just say I was to have built this building because you start with three, um, you start with three wood. So let's just say I was to build that building. Now, if I go to this spot here, first of all, I would gain the victory points for building it. I would go to this spot here, I would own this. If someone else wanted to use the building, they would have to pay me a coin, which is a nice little push and pull. But now when I put my worker here, I get the three wood for the spaces, but I also get to use the building, which this one is pay a coin to get three wood. So obviously that's not a great place to put that, but just remember, just because I went here doesn't mean you actually have to go there. I could have gone here and gotten a fish, a wood, and then paid the coin to get the three wood. So as more and more of these buildings populate the map out here, these spaces become better and better and better. So as everybody starts to get these spaces out here, and now there are wheat fields as well, there's quite a few of those, they just give you wheat, but it's a nice way to get food. So these spaces become more and more valuable. So now if I go here, instead of just getting two stone, I would get two stone, a wheat, and I could trade one of those wheat to get four coins. If you use someone else's building, again, you pay them a coin, but still, it's not a horrible price to pay to be able to activate all of those different buildings out there. The game plays in four rounds. Essentially, you're gonna keep doing that until you've used all your workers. You'll pull back your workers. At the end of the game, you're gonna get victory points based on these bonus cards that you have, as well as one point for every three coins. And that is, in fact, the game. Simple as that, done. So that's Little Towns. I'm a big fan of this little game. Yes, I know that that's silly to say it like that, but I really enjoyed this. Now, I'll be honest with you. I had a conversation with Tom recently about, hey, how often does your opinion change about a game when you're reading the rule book to when you get on the table and you go, oh, this is completely different. Um, this, I knew from the moment I opened the instructions that I was going to enjoy this game. And lo and behold, as it hit the table, I really enjoyed it because there's a lot of depth here. What do I mean by that? is with those actions, right? Selecting where you're gonna put those buildings on the board changes everything, right? There's already some pretty good places to put your characters on the board in the front and the back are different, obviously. But once those buildings start getting there, especially round three, at round three, it's like, pff, there's so many good options, right? At first you think, well, I'm not gonna be able to feed my people. And then all of a sudden, well, in one action, I can get six food or five food if I'm not careful, right? Or if I'm careful, I should say. So as the board builds out, the options and worker placement spots get better. I just think that's such a cool concept. And here's where I really wanted to highlight the game. 
This is not a worker placement game in the sense that there are worker placement spots that you just put on the board and you go to them. They're, they're, they're already on the board and you go to them. This is where you are actually building a map that becomes a kind of movable, different worker placement experience. It reminds me a lot of Charterstone, except even more free flowing because there's so many places that each building can go, making even better combos each time you play this game. So I'm a really big fan of the thought that went into, wait a minute, let's make the worker placement spots, some of them be permanent on the board, but others, let's permanently make those where you can kind of go out and make your strategy your own each time you play this game. I love the tug of war and push and pull of like, hey, you know what? I actually don't mind if you build in the spot that I was going to build because I'm going to use your building that's even better than the one I wanted to build. A lot of really great strategy in this game. Big, big fan of Little Towns. Don't overlook this because of its size or its weight. Go check out Little Towns from Yellow. You are going to enjoy this game. The production looks good. The quality of the components is there. I love the fact that they hollowed out the stars for the point tracker. You didn't have to do that. It's just a little added benefit of quality. Uh, the game looks gorgeous on the table. Nice art. I love that kind of uh, isometric angle of the art. Just a really pretty game. Definitely go check out Little Towns. This is a huge win for me. Big, big fan of this game from Yellow Games. Um, if you were on the cruise, you actually got this game. In fact, we had a fantastic time on the Dice Tower cruise. Loved it. Got to perform a little illusions at uh, the closing show. If you were on the cruise and we had to get a chance to get to play a game with you, awesome time. Had a blast hanging out with everybody. But I'm Brian Drake here on the Dice Tower. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Dice Tower Brian. And until next time, we'll see you. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.